How can I manage challenging behaviour? The brain is brilliant. It allows us to do amazing things without even having to think about them. But behind the scenes, our brains work very hard to do the everyday stuff that we take for granted, like making sense of a conversation, knowing when to smile, or even understanding how to get a joke. When our brain functions well, there's a crack team of cells, networks, and even entire brain regions talking to each other. While we relax and enjoy a cup of tea in a chat, our brain networks get busy. Our brain's expert teams jump into action. In order to make sense of the incoming information and to produce a response, our brain has to process every word and every facial expression. Networks have to work together to retrieve facts and other specialised information about our personal relationships and even what society considers appropriate behaviour. As if that wasn't enough, our brain also has to get inside other people's heads to guess what people are thinking or feeling. When our brain is damaged by injury or disease, important team members may be weakened or wiped out, or they may encounter obstacles from the disease that prevent them from contributing to that internal brain conversation. Messages get garbled and behaviours get mixed up and can, quite frankly, lead to behaviours that are challenging to deal with or difficult to understand. It is important not to take these actions or words personally. And keep in mind that the challenging behaviour could reflect an unmet need. People whose brain networks are disrupted by disease or injury communicate needs in a different way than they used to. Challenging behaviour could also be the sign of an infection, so it's important to get your doctor to rule that out. When you can't tell others what you need, even simple conversations can be frustrating and stressful for everyone. It's a bit like two people who speak different languages trying to talk to each other without having a dictionary. It's not easy, but thankfully there are things that we can do to make life a little less stressful for everyone. But first we have to become a bit of a detective to understand how this new language works. We need to figure out if certain events or environments trigger particular behaviours. Keeping a diary can help identify patterns so we can avoid triggers that lead to challenging behaviours or alternatively to help us to identify triggers that lead to enjoyable encounters. Learning any new language takes time, so we need to go easy on ourselves and on our loved ones. Consider building your own team of friends, family and professionals to help crack the code and figure out what the person needs. And remember, challenging behaviours are due to disrupted brain network connections, so don't take them personally.